Hello friends, welcome to the channel DUDR Academy. Today I am discussing a topic from critical care. And the topic is critical care pain observation tool. That is CPOT, critical care pain observation tool. And before starting the content, let me take a few minutes uh, to talk to you about India's largest educational platform, which has now gone global, that is an academy. An academy is providing lot of online courses and now they have come up with their NCLEX RN preparation course. NCLEX RN preparation course. NCLEX means National Council Licensure Examination and this is a licensure exam in US, Canada and Australia. So if you want to get the job in these countries, you have to clear this NCLEX examination. And an academy is providing uh, the online course for preparation for this NCLEX and they have 100 plus practice questions and 7 test series. So uh, this, <clears throat> they are also coming up with much more content and thus this will be a very good opportunity for all nurses who are preparing for this competitive examinations. And also please note that all the content are free and so don't miss this great opportunity. And also you join the N Academy and learn with this free courses. I have told you about the test series or mock test in an academy that will be help you to test the competency and the practice questions that will be helping you to perfect your timing during the examination and thus it will be helping for better retention and test performance. Also you can assess the an academy through the link that is given in the description and you can attempt the test. Please note that NCLEX questions will be useful for all other competitive examinations also. So please utilize the opportunity that is given giving by an academy. So now let me move on to the content. So here I am discussing critical care pain observation tool CPOT. It is designed to assess the pain of critically ill patients who are incapable of reporting their pain. Okay, so it is a pain observation tool, critical care pain observation tool and it is mainly to assess the pain of critically ill patients who are incapable of reporting their pain. So let me move in detail with this topic. So it is uh, for assessing the pain of critically ill patients and this scale is consisting of four behavioral domains. So there are four behavioral domains. First one is the facial expression. Then facial expression, then body movements, then muscle tension and compliance with the ventilation for intubated patients. And if it is non-intubated patients or for the extubated patients, vocalization is noted. So there are four behavioral domains. One is the facial expression. Second one is the body movements. Third one is muscle tension. And fourth one is compliance with the ventilation for intubated patients. And in case of extubated patients, uh, vocalization for extubated patients is noted. So this is the critical care pain observation tool. There are four important indicators that is the facial expression, body movements, muscle tension and compliance with the ventilator or vocalization. So these are the four indicators and the description of each one is given. Please note that the patient's behavior in each domain is scored between 0 and 2. The behavior in each domain is given the score from 0 to 2, 0, 1, 2. This is the scoring given. And thus uh, there will be total score that is ranging from 0 that is no pain to 8 which is the maximum pain. On taking the total score the maximum score will be 8. So let me discuss each, each indicator in detail. First is the facial expression. So here if the patient is having no muscular tension or no muscular tension observed that means the patient is relaxed or neutral the score is given as 0. Then if the patient is having frowning or brow lowering or orbit tightening or levator contraction if all these indications are there means the patient looks tensed so here the score given is one and all of the above facial movements plus eyelid tightly closed if the eyelid is also tightly closed that is indicating grimacing grimacing so the score is two so this is the simple the description that you can note that is if the patient looks relaxed and neutral the score is zero if the patient is tensed 
the score is 1 if the patient is having grimacing the score is 2 then next comes the body movements in the body movements if the patient does not move at all if the patient does not move at all or does not necessarily mean that means absence of pain so in this body movement if the patient does not move at all that means absence of movement we are giving the score 0 if the patient is slow with cautious movements then touching or rubbing the pain site seeking attention through movements so that means the patient is uh, needing of protection so that is given the score of 1 that indicates protection and the score given is 1 so if the patient has slow cautious movements then touching or rubbing the pain site then seeking attention through movements that indicates protection and so the score is 1 then third one is if the patient is pulling the tube attempting to sit up moving limbs or thrashing then not following commands striking at the staff trying to climb out of bed that means the patient is looking restless if there is restlessness the score given is 2 so for the body movements for if there is absence of movements the score is 0 if the patient looks with protection means that is indicating 1 and restlessness indicates score of 2 then the third indicator is muscle tension it is evaluated by passive flexion and extension of upper extremities if there is no resistance to passive movements patient looks relaxed no resistance to passive movements means patient looks relaxed if there is resistance to passive movements that means tense and rigid so if the patient is relaxed the score is 0 if the patient is tense or rigid means the score is 1 and if there is a uh, patient is very tense or rigid that means there is strong resistance to passive movements with in inability to complete them that is indicating means the score is 2 the next is compliance with the ventilator this is for intubated patients so the fourth indicator there are two uh, conditions are given for intubated patients and also for extubated patients separately it is given that is for intubated patients we are checking the compliance with the ventilator or ventilated breath alarms not activated and easy ventilation is there means the patient is tolerating ventilator or movement so score is given zero if the patient is uh, means alarms stop spontaneously alarms stop spontaneously means coughing but tolerating then asynchrony or blocking ventilation or alarms frequently activated means that is fighting ventilator so for tolerating move ventilator or movement the score is zero for coughing but not to but tolerating means the score is one then for fighting ventilator the score is two so this is for intubated patients for non-intubated or extubated patients we are checking the vocalization if the patient is talking in normal tone or no sound means score is zero talking in normal tone or no sound score is zero if the patient is sighing or moaning the uh, score given is one if the patient is crying out or sobbing we are giving the score two so this is the indicators and we are giving uh, the maximum uh, score the patient will be getting the maximum score of 8 and minimum score of 0 so I hope uh, you understood this critical pain observation tool this is a very important tool which is used in critical care so with the inference is that the patient's behavior in each domain is scored between 0 and 2 the possible total score ranges from 0 that is indicating no pain to 8 which is indicating the maximum pain and the score of greater than 2 indicates presence of pain however CPOT does not give an indication of pain intensity so this is just uh, the description in a nutshell it is given facial expressions body movements muscle tension compliance with ventilation and uh, vocalization for extubated patients so this CPOT can be used to assess the intubated or sedated patients pain based on the four components of facial expression muscle tension and movement as well as compliance with ventilator or ventilated breaths for intubated patients or vocalized pain for non-intubated patients so thank you